welcome. If you're new, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're not, thanks for being with us. As always, we're hundreds of videos deep and many thousand subscribers in. Oh yeah. But we're also running a giveaway for when we get to 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please consider it and you might be in the running for some synthesizers, much like this. I have no idea what this is, other than it's called a Mini Freak. The Falcon doesn't know. No. Because this isn't out yet, we can't Google it, and it turned up about half an hour ago. So in this type of video, I am gonna hopefully be a gleeful idiot, which is very easy for me to do, but gleeful because I love doing videos like this where I'm gonna get it out of the box, and I reckon we'll play the first 10 patches. It looks like it's got preset memory, and hopefully we can learn a bit about the keyboard, and I implore you, to let us know what you might want to see in a further video when we've got a bit of time with it. I can already see some interesting specs. Actually, I might give you a silky voiceover whilst the Falcon sweeps over the product with some of the key specifications. Mini Freak is a six voice polyphonic hybrid keyboard that fuses digital sound engines with analog filters, outside the box sequencing, and instant access modulation in a playful, curious, and sometimes unpredictable way. Escape the ordinary and explore the unconventional with a 37 note velocity sensitive key bed with aftertouch, weave intricate evolving performances with multiple modulation lanes, and discover endless sweet spots with a built-in digital effects engine, a wildly creative experience. That's what they say on the box, Falcon. Let's get it out. Voila, ici maintenant avec le mini freak. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying that. We're gonna get in. The first patch is called Krusty Pluck. Oh. And in good traditional fashion, Falcon, would you please give me a key? Please, mate. C. Thank you very much, sir. We're gonna get a bit of C with Krusty Pluck. Let's see if I can use it. Yes, it worked. I can't tell you how many keyboards don't work like that. <laughs> but you have turned the knob. And now on to Avis. Oh, preset two. Maybe I'll click it. There we go. Avis Eternu. Oh, let's go uh, G minor. G minor, yeah. the sound of the OG, but it's so nice to have just some proper keys. And they've got, you can feel the aftertouch in them. I suppose if you're familiar, they, they sell so many gazillions of their key step range. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking what it feels like to me, that feels like the key step keyboard. Are these mini keys? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite an interesting bit of kit because it's kind of retro fut futuristic. Yeah. And uh, I loved it on the original because it was almost like poly aftertouch with the sensor mm. capacitive. But there, you know, that's so cool to be able to play the sounds with a traditional keyboard. It does have a real crusty, atmospheric thing to all the mm. patches, and I, I'm excited by that. Mr. Funky B. Oh, E flat? Thank you, mate. what these do still touch strips there it looks a lot clearer than on the last one so hopefully uh, in terms of all the sequences stuff it does a lot of I mean there's some little frogs on here that gradually get fatter which I like it's a fun bit of kit preset four Moyo. Moyo. 
Indeed. It's uh, Malta's favourite dessert. Why, yeah. <laughs> Let's go D major. D major, thanks, Pete. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, even I was, I was like, oh, this is quite an agile little keyboard. <laughs> oh my god, my fingers! This one's called Impale. Impale. Let's go for a A minor. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I risked it. I don't know, the, um, let's hear that and sweep the filter. Resonance, crank it. That's cool. From memory, I don't think the OG had an analog filter. I thought it was all digital, but maybe mm. I'm wrong. Let me know. Celeste. Let's go uh, F major. Thanks, mate. <laughs> it feels like all the sounds I enjoyed from the last one, but without the weird idiosyncratic keyboard. Exactly. That's yeah. charming, but yeah. I can see why they made this. Like, if, if you're a keyboard head, you just get this. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. Ecstatic. Ecstatic? Mm -hmm. Is that the patch? Yes. Oh, well, I thought that was your reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go uh, E. Let's e, go cool, e. mate. Yeah, E for ecstatic, cool. <laughs> Play around with this filter. High pass. Sci-fi slam. Sci-fi slam. Let's go B. That is the key of sci-fi. Sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Love it. <laughs> That's some fresh That's mad. Says the 37 year old man. Gigasaur. Gigasaur. Go G.
It's fun shredding on it. <laughs> right, last one. This one's called Geiger. And remember, if you're not subscribed and you like this type of stuff, we've got loads of other videos. Click around to see them. Uh, check out Chris, who's got his own series on production techniques. This I can see loads of studio heads buying this already. Oh, yeah. And I kind of want to dive deeper. But thanks, Arturia, for letting me have a go on it and not know anything about it. Last one, Geiger. Let's go A. Hey, thank you, mate. Cheers. See you guys. Bye.